Hey guys, it's prediction time and review time of last weekend's predictions and accumulator. And I, of course, are Dynesy 1985. Welcome to this weekend's video. So to start off with, let's go along with the bleh, disappointing predictions from last weekend's Premier League fixtures. Um, as you can see, uh, perfect scores, we managed to get one right. Uh, which one was that one? That one was Huddersfield against West Ham, which, of course, you all know finished 1-0. Um, just want to quickly mention the Brighton result, extremely disappointing to lose against Cardiff. And, and in the fashion that we lost as well, I felt like Cardiff were probably, well, not, not probably, just definitely were, were lucky to win the game, really. I mean, um, both goals, in my personal opinion, were lucky. Uh, the first goal they scored uh, was, you know, a defected cross and he's not going to miss from there. So that's incredibly frustrating to see. Uh, and then obviously their winning goal um, was just insane. I mean, you, you know, posts and blocks and all sorts and then it's, it's just smashing in the net. You know, it's just like, it's disappointing when you can see goals like that because, um, you know, before our sending off as well, which I personally felt was just a yellow card. I didn't feel it was a straight red. Um, Brighton were actually in control of the game and actually playing really, really well. And as soon as the sending off happened, um, we, you know, the game was always going to be against us. And it that definitely gave um, Cardiff more of an incentive to uh, go on and win the game, which they did. So fair enough for them. But for, for Brighton, um, from our view, uh, very disappointing. But, you know, you move on. But anyway, this weekend, as you can see, it's international weekend, yes. Um, obviously, it's interesting with the England game that's going to be, um, I'm going to say more competitive. Not like a World Cup competitive game, but, you know, all to play for with obviously Croatia beating Spain. Um, it opens it up for, you know, this Sunday coming. So that should be interesting to watch anyway this Sunday. Anyway, so let's move on to the accumulator from last week, which wasn't very good at all, if I'm honest. Uh, three teams let us down, as you can see. Um, basically, it was Leicester. They drew at home 0-0. Uh, Blackburn, they drew at home 1-0. And Nottingham Forest played Stoke. And that was a 0-0 as well. So just uh, uh, accumulate and move on. At least it wasn't one goal away from winning. You know, it was just an absolute fail so again never mind move on so with the predictions for the nation's league this saturday and sunday we're doing we're not going to do tonight saturday sunday and monday be here all day otherwise and you guys have got better things to do so uh, to start off with the saturday fixtures um italy versus portugal we're gonna go for a 2-1 victory to italy and then we've got turkey against sweden we're gonna go for a 2-1 victory to turkey Quite an interesting one, that one. Uh, Albania against Scotland. We've gone for a 2-0 victory to Albania. Sorry, Scotland. Um, and then we've got Serbia against Montiego. Sorry if I've said that wrong. Uh, we're going for a 3-0 victory to Serbia. Uh, then we've got Romania against Lithuania. Uh, that is, well, that prediction anyway is going to be 2-0 to Romania. And then Azerbaijan. Uh, against the Faroe Islands, we're going for a 2-0 win to Azerbaijan. Uh, and then we've got Malta against Kosovo. We're going for a 1-0 draw. And then for Sunday's fixtures, we've got Switzerland against Belgium. Uh, we're going for a 2-1 away victory for Belgium. And then we've got the mighty England um, against Croatia. We're going for a 2-1 home win for England. Uh, just to quickly add, um, fantastic for Lewis Dunk to make his full international debut uh, as a Brighton fan. Uh, it was a very, very proud moment for us and uh, incredibly um, pleased for him because he truly deserves it. He's been absolutely phenomenal for us. He was brilliant last season. He should have got the England squad last year. Um, but uh, at least he's got in now and he's, you know, he's had his debut and a, and a successful one. I know it was only against the USA, but he still performed uh, very well indeed for us. So excellent to uh, see that happen. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Northern Ireland against Austria. We're going to go for a 1-0 victory to Austria. Uh, Greece against Estonia. We're going for a 2-0 victory to Greece. And then we've got Hungary versus Finland. We're going for a 1-0 draw. 
Then we've got Moldova against Luxembourg. We're going for a 2-1 victory to Moldova. And then the last game, San Marino. Uh, San Marino? San Marino. Oh, my God. San Marino. I, 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 I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, against Belarus. We're going for a 2-0 victory to Belarus. God, that's... Yeah, just forget it. <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, the accumulator this weekend, we're in for a seven folds and the uh, teams comes as follows. Starting off with Luton, they're at home against Plymouth. Then we got Sunderland, they're at home against Wickham. Peterborough, they're at home against Bradford. MK Dons, they're at home against Macclesfield. Forest Green, they're at home against Morecambe. Bury against Stevenage. And then the last game in the nation, no, National League, sorry. Um, Leighton Orient, they're at home against Bromley, and that is 24.14 to 1. We've put a £4 bet to round it off, and if it comes in, fingers crossed, uh, it's going to be £100.59. and pence. So that is our predictions and our accumulator and the quick review of last weekend's lot. I uh, hope you all have a really good weekend. Come on, England! Um, nice to see a good win against Croatia. Hopefully get a little bit of revenge for what they did to us in the World Cup, even though it's not quite the same. Uh, still would be good to get a home victory anyway. So, yeah, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye.